What's good, everybody, man? It's your boy, Kenny Chow. We back with another video, man. If you're new, you already know what to do. Be sure to go click that subscribe button right now. Because this is actually my first time ever reacting to uh, to um, JJ Reddick's podcast, bro. You know, I've been watching. I'm like, I feel like a lot of people don't know about his podcast yet. And it's actually, I feel like, one of the most entertaining podcasts out there considering uh you know a former nba player and all the uh guests he has on here and i was like you know what might as well just react to it hopefully i can shed some light onto it i'd obviously you know he's a bit on a bigger uh platform more subscribers whatever you know what i'm saying but uh i feel like a lot of people haven't came across his videos yet and he does a great down great uh a great thing of breaking down um specific clips of the videos uh entire podcast into like different segments and this one was actually one of the more entertaining ones that I've seen um, when I was watching like the first six things, you know, and I said, you know what, let's react to it, man. You know, let's watch it together. Let me know your guys' insight, uh, you know, your input on it. And if you guys watch the JJ Ready podcast, let me know in the comment section, man. So um, link of the original videos in the description down below. Uh, hopefully JJ doesn't flag me for this, man. Yeah, let's get straight to it. What, what happened with Chris? What was going through your mind? You know, Chris. So, so oh, this one is Patrick Beverly explains why he shoved Chris Paul. You guys remember? Um, I think it was either last year or two years ago. Uh, Patrick Beverly literally like blindsided Chris Paul from the back, bro. So we'll see. We'll see what he got to say. So, so people don't. Understand. <laughs> I know. I know Chris. Right. I know Chris. So people yeah. don't understand. People don't understand. Me and Chris. This. The, what we have has been going on since I was in high school. Really? And and uh, see, a lot of people don't know the backstory. Hey, but me and Chris, we clearly understand the backstory. So, like, I got invited to got a LeBron James camp, you know, the big Nike LeBron James camp when he was in college. Ironically, my roommate at the time, Stephen Kirk. And people don't know a lot about that. Me and him, every basketball camp, USA team, he's my roommate. Every every single time what? since we were young. Six story there. So, Wait, you know, you, no you cap? LeBron James camp when he was in college. Ironically, my roommate at the time, Stephen Kirk. And people don't know a lot about that. Me and him, every basketball camp, USA team, he's my roommate. Every every single time since we were younger. Six story there. So, you know, you, you're on a certain team and you get a chance to play against LeBron, I think, OJ. I actually also find it crazy, man. You know, um, when you just don't know the history behind certain players and, like, you know, if they knew each other in high school, they knew each other in college or AU basketball, uh, it's always so interesting, and um, you know when I used to do sports photography, videography, uh, three years ago, I would notice players that were just good friends, and then they would make it to the league together. Just you know, prime example was Josh Christopher and Jalen Green. I actually used to shoot videos for Josh Christopher because he was in my same hometown. He went to Mayfair. Um, you know, when I was living in Long Beach, uh, you know, Lakewood Mayfair is like 10 minutes away, 15 minutes away. Uh, and I went to a, a camp, a random shoot and, uh, Jalen Green, Josh, like they was always, uh, chop it up. Like they were like really good friends and now they're on the Rockets together, bro. So it's just kind of crazy when I hear stories like this, like, Oh yeah, Steph Curry is my roommate. Like we would have never known until one of them admitted it or talked about it and, Honestly, this is why I love this podcast so much, bro. You learn new things all the time. Jake Mayo was there and Chris Paul was there. I, I killed them, destroyed them. I'm talking <laughs> about in front of every fucking NBA scout out there. I'm just a sophomore in, in, in fucking college. I'm going at them every fucking play. I'm calling them a child. And then I see them Tough. in the NBA. So, of course, that energy is going to roll over to the NBA, you know. And he does, you know, Chris, he does slick shit like, you know, People don't know. That's a little dirty motherfucker, man. Chris know that too, man. Uh, Yo, I know you didn't want to say it, but I said it for you, though. I know that was your teammate. And, and I love CP, bro. I love what he brings to the game. I love, like, like he changed the game also. So, like, you got to give him all his props. But, like, he knows how to finesse the system, too. Like, and, and you got to give him credit for that, too. So, CP3, you know, it was just one of, those, one of those ones I just had to get. CP3, dude, low-key seemed a little, uh, a little shady. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> Just the way he be playing sometimes, you can tell CB3 loves to finesse, bro. But 
I'm also finesser, so off my chest. And I called him right out. <laughs> I called him right out the two, I, the same night. I, I I do know Chris, and I love Chris, and I also for a long period of time in my life hated Chris and Chris, <laughs> and Chris, Chris knows this. And it's fine. It's fine. We've moved past that. We've moved past that. Was there something he did though? Like, was that just an act of rage or was there, there something that sort of just, or an act of frustration? Was there something that sort of set you off that you would shove him like that? No, it was just frustration, you know, added on to like, you know, you go, and you know the refs aren't gonna foul out Chris Paul. You go for a layup, he pulls you over to the side. You fall on your side. I don't know. You miss layup real bad. It looks like you're trash. But the whole time, like ref, he's just literally yanking you out the air. Like you know, like you guys didn't see that, but okay. You know, you shoot a jump shot floater. He he elbows you in the hip or some shit like that. And, you know, you push him. He oh whoa whoa. whoa. You, you know, Chris man. <laughs> man. So uh, but he does a job real well. So you gotta respect him, man. You got to. Chris Dewey flopping a lot, bro. I ain't gonna lie. He flops a lot. Uh, but yeah, man. Hey, this is the old man and the three. Be sure to go check out link of the description. Link of the video, original video is in the description down below. Uh, probably gonna react into more of these. And honestly, just a bunch of different random videos, man. So whatever you guys want me to do, comment down below. And now we out the stay. Peace.